Now to get started, you gotta just head to MailChimp.com and go up the top to sign up for free and fill out the forms. You will need to confirm your email also during this process. Pick the free option if you're not ready to start paying yet and then continue. Make sure you use legitimate details and a legitimate address because legally this is required to run an email newsletter. But also just check each one, make sure you're opting out of anything you don't wanna receive from MailChimp and just put in as much detail as you can to legitimize this account. Then you land on this page here and you're ready to start setting things up. Now we just need to set up our forms and put them on our website so that we can start getting people to subscribe and we can start collecting their email addresses. So you're still logged into your account and what you're gonna to need to do is actually head into your audience and I like to go into all contacts but you can go straight to sign up forms. I'm just gonna go here first and show you that we have got one contact which is the email address I signed up with. So uh, we can sort of use that to show you just where your contacts are. You'll find a list of emails here. You can go here to sign up forms or you can go on the left up here to sign up forms to, to start creating your forms. The first thing you can do if you've got the form builder here is actually go in there and set up some of your default forms to make sure they're saying the saying what you want them to say so it's got a good experience for people. The first thing is we've got this here. I can actually use an image if I want to. So I click use image and there's nothing here. I can upload a logo if I want to. And I can pop this logo onto the page. And it's a bit hard to see. So what I will actually do is I can go into the design tab here, zoom out a little bit and change the background to black. But you can change some basic settings here. And uh, the idea is you can now go into your form. So you've got the background, you've got the header and you can change certain things like the size of the fonts the wrapper, you can also change the body and change the background of that. So going through and checking out these areas, changing colors and fonts to what you want, you can go through and move some things around, add in some fields. But generally speaking, the default is gonna be good enough to get started and um, that will sort of give you your email address, first name, last name, and that sort of thing in there. If you want to, you can go back into your actual list settings and add in extra fields. Um, so if I go back into my contacts here, and I go into settings under audience fields and merge tags. I can then add in fields in here, such as add a field. I can add in something like birthday or more well, birthdays already there or location or something there if I want to add that to my forms. But I'm going to go back to sign up forms here, back into the form builder. And under the sign up form, this is something we, if we want to, we can actually share this link or just link to this from our website and get people to sign up here, which is a pretty easy way to go. Another thing too is to go through and check out these forms. So sign up forms with alerts. So I'll just zoom out a little bit. It'll show you what errors are there. You can actually change that if you want to. Uh, recapture confirmation. Uh, a lot of this is gonna be okay to leave as is. Once you've changed the main template, it will carry through. However, the confirmation thank you page, if you are giving away a free download or an ebook, I would actually consider popping a little note in here by clicking this ad. So I click on this section here and I can change this text. I can say, download your freebie here. And I can even highlight that, hit this link button and pop a link to a PDF or a page there if I want to. I click save and close. So the idea is I would go to this section here with the drop down and make sure you're happy with the wording. The messages will essentially be already there describing to people what they want. Um, if you want to send a final welcome email, you will need to tick that. So check out the little boxes underneath each one and just see if you're happy with the wording on all of these. But it is relatively safe to leave these set as default for now. And the next step is to actually embed the form on your website so we can actually link off by simply copying this link. I go back up to sign up form. I can just copy this link here and actually just simply link it up on my website by popping that link onto a page which if I do on WordPress is pretty simple. If I have a WordPress page here with some content, this is just a blank page just for demonstrations. I can say subscribe here. I can highlight that and hit this little link button and then just pop the link in there if I want to and have a link or even hit below, type in button. I can add in some buttons as well. I can say subscribe and then hit the link button, pop my link in there 
and people can actually subscribe that way when they click on this by going off to that page and filling out the subscription form I just created. But there's also another way that we can do this, say on the sidebar. So I'm actually gonna go back out here to WordPress, I'm gonna to go to Appearance and Widgets. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, if this is actually using the classic widgets through, um, yeah, through WordPress. So we'll actually go through how you can do this in a classic widget style and using the block editor, we'll just use that on a page, which is essentially the same as the new widget editor. But I'm gonna head back to MailChimp and I'm gonna go back to sign up forms. And you'll see here, there's a section called embedded forms. So I simply select that there and we have this nice simple sign up form that we can use. We can actually go in here and we can add in different fields and we can edit the form itself. There's different settings. We can say subscribe, we can say sign up today and customize that pretty easily. I'm gonna make the width about 300 pixels. Although that seems a little narrow, we'll go 350. We can choose to turn off all the styles. You can play with this. So your theme would style this, but it's probably easier for most people just to leave that switched off. And just go through these areas. You can apply a tag to anyone who signs up using this form. You can also have the referral badge on there. You can have it dark. So if you've got a free, a free account, you will need to have this on there. The dark kind of looks okay, so I'm gonna go back. I like the 350 pixels. So I'm going to now say continue up the top here. And now we have this code that we can copy. So I click copy code and I tab across. And in our classic editor, I have a custom HTML section. I just simply drag onto my sidebar and I can right click and paste that onto the page and click save. Or if I wanna add it to a page, I'm gonna to go to new page up the top here. Just to, I'm gonna say subscribe again. Use my default editor because I am using Divi. And I go to add a HTML block, custom HTML. And then I right click and paste that HTML onto the page there. And I can preview that to see how it looks. And you can see it's showing up there. If I preview it on the page, I can scroll down and you'll see the form is actually there. Now I actually don't have my sidebar set up on this page. So I will just quickly tab across and show you a page with the sidebar so you can see how that turned out from the widgets section. So you see we have a blog post here and over here is our MailChimp form so people can fill out and sign up to receive emails. So that's pretty handy and pretty easy to use. I'm going to add in an email here and I'm going to subscribe. And now I'm subscribed to that email. So the next step is for us to simply send out an email to our subscribers. But before I do that, I just wanna let you know that uh, at the end of this video, there will be a video card, but also in the description below, I I have a video showing you all the various methods you can set up on your website to get people to sign up for MailChimp. So if you wanna take it a step further than what we've done here, check out that video at the end of this one and you will see different ways you can link up MailChimp to your website. So now we're gonna show you how you can actually send an email to your entire subscriber list with a simple campaign. So I'm done here, I'm actually click on my little MailChimp icon at the top here. And now in order to send an email, it's actually pretty simple. An email is known as a campaign. So we go to campaigns here and we can actually create campaign up the top right. So from here, we get a few options, a regular email, or we can set up a landing page, which is something I'm covering in uh, the next video about uh, you know, adding different types of sign up forms. We're gonna go here to regular email and design that email. And you see here, we've got two recipients, which is my email I signed up with and the new email, which I also just signed up with. And we're gonna go through and add in the settings and things that we want to. So I can say who this is from. I'm just gonna say it's from Wade and this is the email and save that. And I'm gonna go down to design the email. And you'll see here, you can choose between the classic builder and the new builder. I would say the new builder is a safer, safer option because it's simpler, but if you want to choose classic, it's a little bit more complicated, but uh, we're gonna stick with the new builder because that is what the, mail, the direction MailChimp is heading in. So we're gonna to go to select. And you'll see we've got styles and templates. I can go here to styles and the, change the colors of the body. I can make it bright yellow if I want to, which is you know obviously not ideal, but 
a possibility, um, but I'll keep that with white and I can change the background color to maybe a darker sort of color and the links to black, maybe I want to make them red so all the links stand out. And under templates, I can choose different layouts. So when you're talking about starting an email newsletter, the idea is that once a month you get in here and send out what you want. But you can also set up a monthly auto uh, automatic email using RSS feed. Once again, I've got a video I'm going to put into, it's in a playlist, it's all gonna be linked up below this uh, MailChimp playlist. But uh, otherwise, for now, we can type up that email by choosing one of these templates and we can also then go ahead and edit. Now, these are all gonna be pretty simple, but uh, we can also just start with what we got, but uh, we're gonna stick with this for now and apply this template. And we're gonna say continue with existing content. So now I can add my logo in here. I can click on this and what's essentially gonna happen is if I backtrack a little bit, is we've got options on the left here and our page on the right. Every time I click on an area, I get the options for that module on the left. And I can also click this plus button between modules to add in other modules. So if I've got this logo area here, I can click set logo, upload my creator impact logo, and it's on there, but it has a white background. So I can change this block background to black if I want to. It has auto scrolled away from there. I'm gonna make that black. I can change it to any one of these colors. Zoom out or any one of these colors on the left here. Move out. I can left align, right align, center align. I can go through and change any of the settings here where I see fit to make it look the way I want. Now my browser has an issue with the Helvetica font. It outlines it for some reason. So I'm just gonna change that to something else. So I can change the font on the left here by clicking on that block and choosing say Avo. And you can simply highlight and type. And it's a simple case of going through, typing out your email, adding in things like photos. So once again, once I've got this photo, I can click add and upload an image like I did with my logo. I can link that to various addresses. There's a button here. I can do the same thing where I give the button an address. So let's say I wanna to link to Google for whatever reason. This would most likely be your website or a blog post, maybe even a YouTube video. I can connect up to Google. I can test it, see that it's working. And where it says add button text, I can just highlight there and go visit Google. And I can then go ahead and I can even click this and duplicate it if I want to recreate certain things like this text, I can duplicate that. I can then use these arrows to drag it into place and repeat that process. Or I can actually hit plus, add in a heading, say next item, and I change the font again, something else. And then I can just simply click and keep adding more information in here as I go. Now, there is a lot to this editor that can be covered. So once again, if you need more than what I've covered here, which is simply to add blocks, this is headings, paragraph, images, buttons, that sort of thing. Once you have uh, experiment with this a little bit and work with putting in these main blocks like headings and paragraphs and things like that, you'll find it pretty simple to use. But if you want more, I've got a video covering the editor in detail. Once again, we'll link up in the description below if you decide you wanna really dive into that. But uh, this is pretty much what you, all you need to know to get started is to simply add in these blocks, areas, these modules, videos, all these different things you can just simply pop onto your email and you can customize it that way. And it's pretty straightforward uh, to use. Text, images, buttons, that's pretty much gonna be what most people use. And you can then fill out your newsletter that way. And uh, when you're done, if you wanna use the same layout again, you can go into templates and you can save this design as a template by clicking the love heart. So you can say newsletter template. And that means next time you go to create a newsletter, you go into templates and your template will be in here as newsletter template. Here we go, under saved, newsletter template. So you can get the exact same layout as you had before, customize everything the way you want and be good to go. So the next step, is to hit continue. We're happy with our email, we're ready to send. 
I wouldn't necessarily send what I've typed up here, but for the sake of the video, this actually... Uh, so you'll see here, send your email, remove or replace placeholder content. So I, because I am actually demonstrating this, I haven't actually changed all of the initial placeholder content. So I do need to go back and fix that up. So I'm going to click edit. And I'm going to change this to something else. So that's the good news. If you leave anything unchanged, it will actually warn you. I hit continue. And once again, I've still got some placeholder content. So I'm just going to pause, remove that old content and move ahead. So once you've removed those errors, it's simply a case of making sure you remove anything you don't want and actually put text in where it needs to go. Otherwise, we're pretty much good to go. We actually don't have a name for this yet. So I'm gonna edit the name and call it. I'm just gonna say test campaign for this one and click save. But otherwise we've got from our subject, we can add a subject to the email. So this is what people see. We can say, read our email, click. We have to add some preview text, like wrote this for you. Now you wanna put something enticing in there, something that's gonna make people give them some reason to read. So if you've got some kind of value you're adding in there, like, oh, you, something you will gain, it could be that something for free, or it could be some information. I would put that in there, tease with the preview in order to get people to click on that email. Otherwise, I'm gonna click save. We've got all ticks here. We've got who the who it's to, which is our two recipients, who it's from, our subject, and our content. So now all we have to do to send that email is go up the top here and click send. Or we can go to schedule here. And I do believe this might be a pro feature, but if you do have pro, you can schedule this for a certain time. But for now, we're just gonna click send and send this to our two subscribers. And now we've sent it off and we can open it in our email. Uh, and see what we've got. Now I've given it five or 10 minutes. Here's the email that we've put together, received in my inbox. And that's basically it. Those are the basics of starting an email newsletter. It's nice and simple. Sign up for your account, set up your forms to start collecting emails, and then you can send out your emails once a month, once a week, however frequently you want to and go from there. Now, in order to get into more detail, I've got a bunch of videos. Like I said, I'll pop them in the description below. But uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Don't forget to check out MailChimp. It's free to start up to uh, when I checked, last check, 2,000 subscribers. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.